Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Stadium. We got things working again! Uh, so we just have what a geek with us today. Brandon, actually, isn't it today that Brandon is starting his like 19 hour drive to move? I think you'd know better than I would. Yeah, I think that's actually today, just by complete coincidence. Uh, now, he told us ahead of time he'd be busy the whole week, but I think today is the day that he has to drive 19 hours. I, I think he's doing it over the course of a couple days. And, and coincidentally, there is a hurricane on the path to me over the next couple of days. Um, so Yay! chances were that this was going to be the last chance we could record Stadium for this week. Yeah, things always come up with Stadium, but, but, what he made us some new teams for the Stadium mode. We have and finally- this is what's important. Yes, we have finally taken the advice of the audience who said, fuck it, just use, just use a program and make the Pokemon as long as they're not illegal. Because we don't have time for anything else at this point. So, what are you, how did you make the teams? I used a program called Pika Save, which is a play on Poka Save. Um, ah. It's, I think, specifically for Gen 1 stuff. But uh, it allows you to take a save file similar to what you use for importing Pokemon into Stadium onto Project 64. And uh, then you're just able to, you know, toss them into here. But um, I'm noticing that I must have goofed something up because I could have sworn uh, four of these things were 51 and the other two were 50. Or, uh, it was either two things were 52 and the other four things were 51 or it was 52 for four of them and 53 for the other two. So something must have goofed. Yeah, it's okay. We can fix that later because we did actually, I, I went ahead and you sent me all the files. I registered them for each stadium mode. So if I go back to here and go to, I don't know, Prime Cop or like anything else, um, we should still have a clean team. I, I know for sure that some of them looked fine. This one, there's no level restriction on, so there can't be any problem here, right? Uh, so there's this team. If we check it, I yeah, I put them at level 101. Oh, well. And yeah, these all look good. So yeah. what did you do with the stats? Is it just the highest it could get in the game naturally? There's a little option in Pika save that allows you to max everything. So it just puts everything to level 100 and maxes their stats uh, okay. and IVs and DVs. But for some reason, whenever you do that thing, whenever you do the max stats thing and you try to alter their levels and change their stats to match their levels after that point mm -hmm. they just stay at level 100 stats despite being level 50 something oh that's weird uh um, but uh, i did my best to match the stats for level 50 yeah and level 50 ones in, these uh, numbers seem absurdly high compared to our old ones well to be fair we are 48 levels higher yeah yeah i i guess uh if we go to we have another whatever yo registered here how much worse is this See, that's way weaker. So that is how low our stats were compared to the enemies then. Because mm -hmm. people keep telling us that the the opponents have their stats maxed out. Um, so for anyone who doesn't know, in, in Gen 1, it wasn't just IVs. It was like stat experience. So, you know, you could, normally in the new games, your Generation 3 onwards, you can only get so much grand total IVs. So you couldn't max out every stat to whatever the highest potential was. In Gen 1 and 2, you could. It would just take forever. But the enemies in Stadium in Round 2 seem to have that done already, which is more than you can do with vitamins alone. So what What a Geek did was he just made it the best it could be naturally in the game without, like, breaking any rules of how the game works. As far as we understand, that is how this worked. So we'll give it a try. Uh, we'll see how this is. Finally, we might actually have a fair fight. Unless the AI actually has weaker Pokemon to this and they have some weird in-between of higher than maxed vitamins, lower than maxed stat XP. If so, confusing. Okay, uh, Parasect, Beedrill, Omastar, Blastoise, Pinsir, RK9. Uh, I'm, so two water types, we need, okay, we need to get familiar with the new team's moves. We don't have a Charizard anymore, but we do have Fire Blast on Boldrome. Oh, I notice you even have the PowerPoint ups and everything. Mm-hmm, that's what happens when you max everything. 
Okay. Um, I did get rid of... Um, I can't remember what I got rid of on whatever yo, but it has seismic toss now. Yeah, you got rid of... Disable. Disable. Yeah, that was pretty crap anyway. I don't think we ever used it. Uh, thunder wave, thunder, thunderbolt, pin missile. Yeah, makes sense. Hmm. Well, I like Kadachi because of Thunderbolt, although I guess Nomael would do fine too. We have a better grass type because we were never really using our Venusaur, so this is probably better. Razor Leaf is the most reliable Gen 1 grass move, I guess I'd say. Um, and we can also Toxic Stall using Wrap and Rest if we need. Yeah. Okay, and Volvodon, yeah, the basically same. the same, just stronger. Okay, I'm thinking it's round one anyway. There's not really much danger. Why don't Namiel we... Namiel is good against four things. Yeah, I'm gonna Namiel, Kadachi, and uh, we have water. We have... We don't have anything for Parasect, but it's not that dangerous. Bulldrum? Sure. Yeah, let's give that a try. Okay, so we're on the Ultra Ball Cup right now of Prime. So, I don't know how hard this is. This is round two. I imagine this is probably going to be pretty difficult. But then again, I don't know. Maybe our Pokemon are too strong for Ultra Ball and on par with Master? I don't know. Um, some type of differences with with uh, Bug were different in Gen 1. Was Ice good against Bug in Gen 1? Because I know it I isn't after. Yeah, I know it isn't after Gen 1. It's still good against Grass. But Bug was a little weird in Gen 1, like how Bug and Poison were good against each other. Is that the only instance in Pokemon of types being super effective against each other? What, Dragon? Or just Poison and Bug? Po poison and Bug. I mean, Dragon is super effective against each itself, but... Yeah, but I mean two different stuff. types that are super effective then against yeah, each other. Then yeah, I can't think of one. Yeah. I mean, I guess the reason they did that was just to make poison better oh, wait, in sorry. Gen 1. Ghost is another one of those. Ghost is good against itself. Dragon's good against itself. But Yeah, nothing, but good, ag like, good against itself against isn't dragon. the same. Yeah, yeah. What I was, yeah, I was just saying, like, anything where two different types are good against each other. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, how bad is this going to be? Wow. Digging. That is more than I thought it would be. That was almost 300 damage. Okay, I don't have a flying type to switch to. Do I just want to tank this? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, what else can I do? I, I don't have any buffs or anything I can use. Now, how much are we going to get hurt by this? It has a good chance of critting, just because rk 9 has got very high base speed. Oh, that was not bad at all. I wonder if we're too strong now for Ultra Ball Cup. No, with a non non stab dig on RK9 against a decent Fair. defensive star me, it's still not going to do much. What is RK9's attack like in Gen One? I think it's like ninety, but let me just look. It's I know that RK9's base stats are overall really really strong, like top ten in Gen One. But then again, yeah, uh, digs not stab. And although Dig is 100 power in Gen 1, which is pretty sweet. Okay, I can still use... Um, he's not ground, he's rock, so I can use Thunderbolt. Mm -hmm. Omastar has higher special than... Ooh, that's a little less damage than I thought it'd be. Omastar... Higher special than attack, yeah. Yeah, yeah, whereas... Uh, of course I got paralyzed. Might want to switch out just so you can keep the, uh, continue. Oh, yeah, because we get continues now. Kadachi. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kadachi's the way to go on this. So Arcanine has, I don't know if this is still true in Gen 1, but Arcanine has 110 in attack, 100 in special attack, 95 in speed. It's entirely uh, possible that his Gen 1 special stat was 80, which was a special defense now. I know on Bulbapedia it just tells you what the special is in the little blurb under the box. Alright, he hit really hard, but now we have Stab Thunderbolt, so this will probably do it. Pokemon DB was Crit. not the, the best area to look, apparently. 
There Even we go. The first one to show up. God, uh, the sidebars feel so empty with the Discord thing turned off since it's the two of us. Let me just. Uh... There we go. I put yeah. on Lent Hill. Gen one, Pokemon special uh, was eighty. Okay. So definitely stronger attack. So, comment section. You're gonna have to let us know your opinion on this. We're round two now. We're we're in the the stadiums and everything. We've got our super strong team, that hopefully should be on par with theirs. Uh, how do we want to make the rules on save states now? Because they said before we can save state in um, gym leader battle mode because or in the gym leader tower because it has no continues and is to keep the pace going. Now this has continues, but we have to earn them. Yeah, I I want to say at least let's not unless it gets real bad. And we'll wait to see what the audience says. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so I'm seeing some ground types. I'm seeing fighting. So Namael's already looking really good. Mm -hmm. um, Kadachi, uh, well, I'd say Kadachi's good, but yeah. And whatever you. Uh, yeah, whatever you is reliable. And we have a continue, which is nice. So I, I gotta get back in the mindset for, I think every single battle, either than finals, left in this whole Let's Play, we're probably gonna have to be careful to try not to let anything faint so we can get continues. Except for the Mewtwo thing. The Mewtwo thing is also in round two, right? I think so. I think it is, but I'm not sure I ever actually got that far in, uh, you know, when I played it casually growing up. I got to round two, but I never beat round two because round two is real damn hard. All right, well, he gave that one up. I don't know why he tried for focus energy. He probably should have just tried to hit me as hard as he could. I mean, he is only the second trainer. He is... It's Ultra Ball Cup, though. I thought they'd already be real mean by Ultra Ball. All right, easy. I guess Chain. I will Psychic, because Psychic is like the same thing as Surf pretty much, except for a chance of special drop. I think it's like five less power. Doesn't matter, I crit him. Ouch. <laughs> Nice. All right, what have you got? Okay, that's probably not bad. I'm not really that worried about fighting fighting types, mm -hmm. just because we know that they don't have any really good moves. The highest damage fighting move in Gen 1 was Submission? And submission's kind of crap. It's recoil. It's only 80 power. It's was 80 accuracy. Kick? Was I jump oh. kick in Gen 1? It was, yeah. I'm sorry, did but you yeah, use seismic was... toss there? Uh, yep, that checks out. It did 100 damage to you. Yeah, that was seismic toss. That's not good when that's your best move you can use. There we go. I feel like seismic toss is just kind of a finisher in Prime Cup when you just need to shave off reliably 100 damage or more, because it's never going to be your strongest move. It's just reliable. Yep. You That's know, like Nightshade. On, on, um, whatever you Wow. Another continue. Sweet. All right. What do we got? God, that crazy-looking beard. It is truly just a neck beard. Hmm. Oh, he's got some weird colors going on his team there. Some real uh, weird greens and yellows. And strange names, too. What happens when you can't dance? You have no hip. Oh, that took me a second. Uh, he's got a lot of psychic types, actually. Huh. Um. Now, Staryu is only water, right? Yeah. Okay. I could brute force them. Uh, Bulldrome would probably be really fast and hit really hard. His attack is almost 300. You know what? Bulldrome opening and just body slamming his way through might do well. 
And then mm -hmm. his backup... Um, Kadachi, maybe. Kadachi's never bad. Namael's never bad. The only thing that makes me worry about them is that it's special, and they probably have high special, but Kadachi is still a beast. Okay, Boldrum, Kadachi, and... Hmm? What did whatever you have again? Thunder Wave, Seismic Toss, actually would be quite good for stalling out battles with um, with the Psychic types. Maybe whatever Remember, you have? Remember, this, this is a gambler, so he's going to be relying on some gimmick, and I'm thinking that it's going right. to be Sing and Hypnosis. You think? Yeah. Now that I look at it, his whole team can learn Sing or Hypnosis. I don't um, recall if Staryu and Slowpoke can do that too, though. I'm gonna go Namael then. I think I just want sheer damage. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's give that a try. We've got two continues. The upcoming battles look promising. We're into round three. Give me Kadabra. Hell yeah. I might be able to one-shot him. As long as I outspeed him, I can probably one-shot him. Uh, base speed on a Tauros is really high, isn't it? It's his best stat. Sweet. Now, will it kill without a crit? Probably. Almost. Almost. Okay. Flash. Oh, no. Damn it. Okay, so already we're down to 75 accuracy on Body Slam. We'll still probably kill him. Probably. Okay. Okay. Now the real question is, do I keep using Body Slam, or do I switch to get rid of the accuracy drop just to possibly lose accuracy again? Maybe wait until he doesn't attack, at which point you can say he's not going to try lowering your accuracy anymore. Good idea. Um, hmm. Now, I have low special and he has high special. Fire Blast is super effective, but Body Slam is stab. I think I'm still going to get more out of Body Slam here. Blizzard could also freeze it, potentially. It but could. with accuracy being lowered, it might be a long shot. Oh, yeah. I mean, Blizzard's 90 accuracy in this game. So is Fire Blast, I think. But with Fire Flash, is yeah. Lower. Is it 85 for Fire Blast? Uh, 85 or 80. Yeah, that's... A oh, okay, he's using double team. All right, I'd recommend switching out just so you don't have to have lowered accuracy against this. I agree. I'm thinking Namayel Blizzard. Um, maybe. Well, Execute is Psychic. Yeah, because it doesn't need to evolve to be Psychic type. I was thinking about maybe <laughs> using Psychic, move but... that you have on Namayel that will do super effective damage. Sorry, what? It, Blizzard's the only move on Namiel that can do super effective damage. Yeah, it's worth at least trying. He's got two double teams in. I think he won't use more than two, maybe? Hmm. Like, what, what's the worst thing he could possibly have? Solar Beam? Yeah. But even then, it probably won't kill you. Yeah, and I would have time to switch if I really need to. Please just hit. Uh, it's one of those days. He's still using it. Uh, okay, well, Surf and Psychic aren't going to beat him, so... Got to keep going for this. Oh. Okay, Psy Wave is garbage. Isn't it... In Gen 1, I think it's like random between 1 and 75 damage. You'd know better than me. Something terrible like that. I know it's like a random number generator thing. I've seen it hit 1 before in my challenges. God damn! Alright. At least the move looks cool. Come on, just give me a hit. I can take him in one hit. Okay, there we go. There we go. 
I was gonna say, okay. failing that, we could probably switch into Kadachi for some uh, pin missiles. Oh yeah, double super effective, and as much as our attack sucks compared to most things, uh, okay, that shouldn't be bad at all. We have Thunderbolt on this. There we go. God, I, sorry, the uh, the R button on my controller is a little finicky. You sometimes get that with like, you know, third party controllers. Uh, okay, okay, it's still 100 accuracy, so it's got to be 75 now. Chances are we still take it out. I don't think there's any chance that we could lose to this Starmie. It might just waste our time. Okay, okay, we're good. We're already already going into battle four. Perfect. We're only 20 minutes in. We have plenty of time to do another battle. We're making really good pace. We haven't had a Pokemon faint so far. And now, you jinxed it. Yeah, I know, right? I feel like we're back on par with, like, being kind of round one-ish, you know? Where the Pokemon are a little bit more level in their, uh, in their stats, and we're just winning through good moves, outmaneuvering, stuff like that. Uh, okay, okay. So, Cloyster, we're definitely gonna want... An electric move for that. Namael's Thunderbolt is actually probably enough for that. A lot of water types, actually, so Kadashi is really good tempting. Most of these, and Clefable is the only thing it isn't. Yeah. Good uh, in some capacity. Namael, Kadachi, and Clefable. Um, low defense, right? Lower defense, so Bull Drum could work. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, just body slamming it. Because it's special, I think, in Gen 1 was not bad. Not quite Chansey, though. Chansey in Gen 1 could be kind of scary, because it didn't have super low special attack, it just had high special. I wonder if a custom-made Chansey would have been good. It would have had slow start. <laughs> would have given it abilities. Wow, it survived a crit? Oh my god, okay. Here comes the freeze. Well, I guess that's the guarantee that... Uh, okay, okay, it's not bad. I guess that's our our signifier that no, our stats aren't too good for this m a mode. I couldn't even one-shot him with a crit at maxed out stats. That's crazy. And this is Ultra Ball, not even Master Ball. Okay. Still, we haven't had a faint yet, which is really nice. Cruel act. Okay. Now, his special is going to be real high. I don't see a reason to switch. He better not be going for rap. I mean, I guess if he goes for rap, we can just switch for Kadachi and we're faster. So, we could finish him with that. Hydro pump. That might, that might hurt. Crit? You could use psychic, remember? Okay. Oh, yeah, we could. What am I doing? Yeah, that's a better choice. I don't think you're going to be able to take it out from here, but uh, we'll, oh, we'll see. Oh, with Stab. I think we will. Yay! Because okay. Thunderbolt did just under half. And then Psychic has Stab, so plus 50% power. That would have to be a kill. Mm. Unless there's a damage range and we just got really high on the previous one. Okay, easy. It's got, uh, I think, 60 special. Like, 60 not good. base. Yeah, it, it's pretty bad. It's all defense. Gotta be a one-shot. No? Whoa! I really was confident that was a one-shot. That surprised me. Thunderbolt isn't okay. stab. Um, That's true. So, that might be why it didn't KO. If it was yeah. Jolteon using it, it would have been easy. I just thought, you know, max stats, Thunderbolt, he's got less than 300 health, and he's known for his bad special. I really thought that was going to be it. I think I hit less than 200 damage on that first Thunderbolt. That's way lower than I was expecting. Okay. I guess it's not anything too worrying yet, because we're still, we're still getting perfects. But... Mm. Slightly concerned. Slightly concerned. 
for Master Ball. Actually, you know what I'm more concerned for? I kind of want to leave, um, was it Petite Cup that we started with? Pika Cup? Wh whatever the lowest level one is. I'm worried about that because I remember we went into that one and I was like, oh, I remember this one being not too bad. And the whole comment section was like, oh, this is like one of the hardest ones in round one. And yeah, it was real hard. I kind of want to leave that for last and I get the feeling it's going to be brutal. On the next episode, everybody, Gutor Exeg.